For more videos visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, let's do these two problems that say determine the angle between VA and VC and the second one is determine the projection of this force F along BC uh, pipe. The first thing you're going to do is find all the position vectors involved. So let me see. A sits at 0i minus 2j plus 0k. B sits at 0i plus 0j plus 0k. C sits at 3i plus 4j minus 1k. And D sits at 8i plus 0j plus 0k. Uh, I made a little mistake up before. Notice that this is 8, 5 plus 3. This 8 right here. It's not this 2. <laughs> I did the whole problem with the 2 and I messed it up. Don't make my mistake. Now we can find B of A is equal to A minus B. So it's 0i minus 2j plus 0k. And uh, the magnitude of this vector is obviously 2 because there's only one component. And the BC vector is C minus B. And it comes out to be 3i plus 4j minus 1k. And the magnitude of this vector is fine by doing the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square. Each of these three values into this formula give you that it is 5.1. Now that we have the two vectors under magnitudes, we can easily find the angle between them because we know that by definition, the dot product of BA and BC is equal to the magnitude of VA times the magnitude of VC times the cosine of the angle between them. So with this formula, you substitute the values. B, the vector VA is 0i minus 2j plus 0k and BC is 3i plus 4j minus 1k. The magnitude of BA is 2. Sorry. The magnitude of BA is 2 and the magnitude of BC is 5.1 times the cosine of the angle. 0 times 3 is 0, negative 2 times 4 is negative 8, 0 times negative 1 is 0. It's equal to 2 times 5.1 is 10.2 cosine of theta. So when you solve for theta, you're basically going to do the cosine inverse of negative 8 over 10.2. You're going to get that this is equal to 141.7 degrees for this angle right here. Now, this is it for the first part. The second part is determine the magnitude of the projected component onto BC. So what you need to do is you need to find the univector VC. Lucky us, we already have the vector and its magnitude, the vector and its magnitude from the previous problem, the one we just did. So by dividing these three values by its magnitude, you get the univector acting along BC. So you divide the three values by uh, 5.1 and you're going to get that is equal to point 588i plus 0.784j minus 0.196k. We have the univector. Now what we need is the Cartesian form of the force. To find the Cartesian form of the force, we need to find vector CD first because it acts from C to D. This is a, a vector D minus vector C comes out to be 5i 
minus 4j plus 1k. The magnitude of this vector, which is found in this same manner, by doing the x squared, y squared, and c squared all square rooted, comes out to be 6.48 with these three values, of course. So the univector CD is calculated by dividing the vector by its magnitude, and you're going to find this tiny vector CD, which has a magnitude of 1. And it comes out to be 0.772i minus 0.617j plus 0.154k. Multiplying this vector by the magnitude of 3k, let's multiply by 3 and add the k in the end, gonna give you the Cartesian vector form of the vector. So we have the magnitude, which is 3k, times the unit vector cd gives you the Cartesian vector form. So you're basically multiplying this 3k by each of these three values. And you get that the Cartesian vector form is 2.316i minus 1.851j plus 0.462k. Now that we have the force vector, you can find the projection along VC by doing the dot product of F times the univector VC, which was the univector we found here, in case you forgot. So it's 2.316i minus 1.851j plus 0.462k that 0.588i plus 0.784j minus 0.196k running out of space here so 2.316 times 0 0.588 is equal to 1.362 minus 1.851 times 0 0.784 is 1.451 is negative because negative times a positive is a negative and 0.462 times negative 0.196 comes out to be negative 0.091 this comes out to be negative 0.18 just about kilonewtons. Don't forget the k because I omitted it over here so this is in reality k but for simplicity I just put it in the end in the result so it's negative 18 um, however they're asking us for the magnitude so absolute value kilonewtons. This is the final answer. The fact that it's negative when we calculated the dot product since we, we calculated using this unit vector, it means that the force goes in the opposite direction. The projected force goes. That's what it means when it's negative. But they're asking us for the magnitude, so final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems, and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.